this is one of those parcels where I mean I'm not 100% certain what is inside so it's gonna be a surprise to me. Obviously you'll see in the video title what it is but at the very moment I'm recording this I do not know. Obviously I will know by the time I open it and edit it so that's why I can't say that I know until I get into it so let's pull this. This thing is a little bit slimy from the sanitizer that was sprayed on it, so... Ugh. Yeah, just gonna have this paper towel handy. And I'm just gonna quickly dispose of it. Oh, okay, no, it's not Dell, it's the Jellycomb keyboard. Because if this were something from Dell, they told me that they're supposed to be some separate shipments, so actually, hold on a second, my hand is on the desk just yet. I think the desk itself might, yeah, the desk itself is a little bit so slimy, so just bear with me. You don't know, you find this fascinating and hilarious. Okay. Yeah, the slide gone. So now, I can proceed to using this keyboard. Looks quite good, yes, I like it. Bring it up closer so you can see it better. Wait, is this black? Didn't I order this in blue? Yeah, yes, I did order this in blue. If this is actually black, then guess what? It is going right back. <laughs> and that's right, no, seriously, it's going right back if this is actually black. If I did not order this in black, then I'll be quite annoyed if it is. Okay. So now I'm gonna leave this flat. Maybe it's just one of, one of those packages where it just shows the demo color. Okay. <sighs> that is such a red one. It's not actually black. I really wanted this blue one in particular. As you can see, it's protected with this pad. Oh, that's really cool. Look at this. Yeah, I know. I'm getting kind of silly with it, but so what? Sometimes you just have to get a little... Boxing video entertaining. Ooh, this is looking so good. Alright. I'll explore it some more first. Hey, where is the dongle? A USB? Is it inside the mouse? Is anywhere here? It's okay, because we know that this is a jelly comb keyboard and mouse set. This is a video title of the video or something like that. Okay, so did it tell you which specific model this is? Uh, no, it is okay. It just says jelly comb. I mean, you can see like the powder coat and whatever here, but eh, that's about it. There's gonna be a bit of glare because I decided to turn on the light, so hope you won't mind too much. Mm, as long as I just, uh, let's just go to the oh, here is the manual: 2.4 gigahertz wireless keyboard and mouse combo user manual. Where is it made? Almost certainly China. Yep, of course. And now, let's open these. Let's open the mouse right here. No, 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 no. We're gonna look at this first. Did that computer just go to sleep? Oh, did not go to sleep. Um. Okay, so it says that the USB is right in here, so let's see if I can get in there. Oh, it's going to be a bit difficult. Uh, great. Am I pulling it wrong? I don't know. Okay, you know what? We'll just go inside the mouse for now. So it looks like the battery department is down here. Yep, just like that. Is this one of those mice where you can still pull off the top anyway? It looks like it. Mm. Uh, I'm running a risk here. Actually, you know what? I'm going to be that type of guy to try and peel this off. Yes, because it's just making me morbidly curious what this thing looks like underneath. Yeah, I know I'm running a risk of possibly breaking this, but so be it. I'm just too darn curious. See, I knew it! I knew it! Ugh. You see that? It should come off. 
when I was looking at it in the pictures, I just suspected, I strongly, strongly suspected that this top could come off. Should you do this? No. Why did I do it? Just for my own amusement. Admit it. You're, you're deeply amused too. Anyway, so now that I'm highly satisfied from taking this top off, I had to use one of these cards to pry it off, but whatever. It's just cool to see that it can come off. Okay, so I do not have any batteries on hand. Oh, actually, I think I have one on the floor. So, yeah, Molly might just slip that in. If it's still there, let's see what it is. Does it have it? Yes. Does it use AA? Yes, I believe it does. Here is your familiar Energizer Bunny. So, I'm going to put one of these in. And we will see how it works, where it lights up, and etc, etc. Okay. So, the negative terminal is supposed to go here, the positive terminal is there. Okay, and if I turn it, let's off. And yes, it works. Does it click? Oh, this is very quiet! I'm going to bring this closer to the microphone so you can hear it. In comparison to something like this, let me pull out my Hewlett Packard white mouse. Now I'm going to bring them closer to the microphone. That's the Hewlett Packard you're listening to. And now here's the jelly comb. And this is what they sound like on the desk. Okay, so none of them are overly loud, but this one is obviously far quieter. Uh, okay, this keyboard, I do not know how to get inside of it, so I don't know if it types accuracy or whatnot. I guess I'll just do a sound test at this point anyways. It's on the quieter side. Based on other keyboards that I've used, this is definitely on the quieter side. Alright, so let's attempt to get inside of this once again. Hope I can actually get in without breaking it. I'm really concerned about that. Maybe I'll just uh, pause this video until I can find a way to get in. Maybe you have to look through the user manual. Yeah, I'll do actually just that. I'm going to pause this video, and once I figure out how to get in, I will resume. Alright. So I finally got it open. I also pulled some batteries out to my other keyboard so I can demonstrate it on this one. And if you look at the plastic here, you can see that it looks like it will snap off if you repeatedly do this to get it off. So therefore, I definitely do not recommend keeping the USB stored in here because I'm not sure why it's so hard to get into. Like, I think the batteries should be a bit more accessible. Like, I'm glad the batteries are removable in the first place, but I just don't like that I have to just go, like, so much and then just go, like, to get it out. Okay, you don't have to repeatedly go, like, mind you. You don't have to do that. But just that I just had to push this hard and then lift it for it to pull out. You look at other keyboards now. Like, where's that healer's packet? Like, this one, for instance. Right, it's just this arrow here. You just go, like... And you're done. Not so with this one. Alright, so therefore I'm not going to even bother putting this back on until I actually decide to get more batteries for it. Because these batteries are going right back into that US Packard I just demonstrated. Okay. Now I need to power up this Dell here. Oh, well, it's already on, just to wake it up rather. The screen timed out. And insert the jelly comb in here. Does my computer recognize it? Yes, it does. So I don't know if you can hear the sound. Is the mouse working right now? 
Uh, wait, it's not even on. Is the mouse on? Yeah, the mouse is on. Is the keyboard on, though? Uh. Oh. Did you see that green light? Yeah, it's on now. Okay, so this is what it looks like. Off. And then that's it on. Uh, why isn't his mouse working? Oh, there we go. Now it's working. Okay. So... Type in my pin here. It's okay. Can the mouse click? Yes. The right click works. The left click works. And uh, let's just type a bunch of things. Yes, space works. Back works. Yeah, everything works. Good to know. So. Well, yes, and you even have these lights here that tell you what's working and what's not, so that's also cool. So if I were to go to cap locks, you can see the cap locks turns on. And uh, I'm not sure what this one does, but um, is this the numeral key? It looks like the numeral key, so... Or is that the activity key? Because I notice that when I type, it's like they just both turn on, so I'd probably just have to look through the guide again to figure out exactly what it does. This looks like a calculator button, so let's see if the calculator will come up. Oh, sweet! Yes, it does! Wow! So, for those of you that need to regionally access your calculator, you'll be pleased to know that you just hit this, and it's open. And yeah, hitting it twice is open up two calculator notepads, so... LOL. NumLock. Yeah, NumLock off. Yeah, both the lights are coming on again. And is there anything else that I need to test? The media keys? Yeah, I guess just to test that, eh? Yeah, they're working. Okay, so that under the volume symbol. I'm not sure if that's turning it down. I can't tell what it's actually doing. Oh, yeah, it's moving. Yeah, it's moving. You can't see it on the screen because the camera's pointed down. But yes, the keys work as they should. And it looks great. Now, if you're interested in getting this, you have to go to Amazon US. Amazon Canada, I think they only have it in purple, and even then, I'm not sure if it's actually in stock for Amazon Canada, so normally I would say I'll provide links to Amazon Canada below, but this time, it's Amazon US, as for Spain, Italy, France, and Japan, I have no idea, just follow the US link for now, grab the exact name of the product, put it into your country's locale, if it's there, it's there, if it's not, then you just have to get it shipped to your country, and if it doesn't ship to your country, then... That is a bummer. As you can see for yourself, it had no batteries in the first place, so the regulations didn't give you trouble for that. Because I know lots of these countries are... Actually, I think every country is pretty fussy over batteries because of their risk of exploding or whatever. So as long as the company does their work properly and they just declare it right and whatever, whatever, then it shouldn't be a problem. Here is where I recommend storing your USB.